The auto industry is on the brink of a major transformation thanks to the new EPA rules. Gas cars will be put to the test while EVs are set to take the wheel. This video is going to dive into all the upcoming changes. It's no secret that the auto industry has been facing increasing pressure to reduce emissions and shift towards more sustainable transportation solutions. The proposed new federal emission standards for light, medium and heavy duty vehicles for the model year 2027 and beyond by the US EPA may just be the stick the industry needs to accelerate this transition. The standards are expected to have a significant impact on the industry, reducing carbon emissions and oil imports, and paving the way for a cleaner and more clean future. But what exactly do these standards entail, and how will they impact the auto industry as a whole? The US Environmental Protection Agency has finally broken its silence on vehicle emission regulations, and the news is electrifying. The new EPA rules are like a kick in the pants for the auto industry and a major step forward for EVs. It's a signal that the US is serious about reducing emissions and it's time for the auto industry to step up. For years, the auto industry has dragged its feet on EVs, even as Europe and China have pushed ahead. While some automakers have heavily invested in EV technology, many, particularly US citizens, have clung to the belief that gas-powered cars would remain dominant for decades to come. Maybe we should let the statistics speak for themselves. In the United States, the proportion of electric vehicles among the 250 million sold vehicles, including SUVs and light-duty trucks, is less than 1%. However, according to the IEA, electric cars still only made up 60% of global car sales in 2022, with the majority of cars sold still being gas-powered. Also, according to the International Energy Agency, there were over 1.446 billion cars on the road worldwide, with the majority of them being powered by gasoline or diesel fuel. In the United States, according to the Bureau of Transportation Statistics, there were over 285 million registered vehicles on the road in 2022, with over 80% of them being fueled by gasoline or diesel. However, the number of electric vehicles on the road is also growing. According to the IEA, there were over 20 million electric cars on the road worldwide in 2022, which is a 43% increase from the previous year. In the United States, the Edison Electric Institute reports that there were over 1.8 million electric vehicles on the road as of December 2022, which is a 69% increase from the previous year. The EPA rules are expected to change all of that. So, these new EPA rules propose a significant increase on the market share of electric vehicles in the US. The goal is to achieve 60% EV market share by 2030 and 67% by 2032, which is a considerable jump from President Biden's previous target of 50% in 2030. The new rules are more ambitious than what many automakers are planning, leaving room for millions of EV sales. The EPA has also proposed new greenhouse gas emission standards for light and medium duty vehicles for the model year 2027 and beyond. The proposed standards aim to avoid nearly 10 billion tonnes of CO2 emissions through 2055 and reduce oil imports by approximately 20 billion barrels. The light duty vehicle standards would increase in stringency each year over a six year period, resulting in an average target of 82 grams per mile of CO2 in MY 2032. These standards are footprint based, which means that vehicles with larger footprints, such as SUVs and trucks, will have a higher CO2 emissions target. On the other hand, medium-duty vehicle standards would also increase in stringency each year, resulting in an average target of 275 grams per mile of CO2 in MY 2032. These standards are based on a work factor metric which measures a vehicle's payload capacity, towing capacity and other factors. The proposed standards also include changes to the AC credits program, which incentivizes automakers to improve the efficiency of their air conditioning systems. The EPA is proposing to limit eligibility for AC system efficiency credits for internal combustion engine vehicles starting in MY 2027 and remove refrigerant-based AC provisions for both light and medium-duty vehicles. Additionally, the EPA is proposing to sunset the off-cycle credits program, which allowed automakers to earn credits for technologies that reduce GHG emissions outside of the test cycle. 
The agency is not reopening its averaging, banking and trading provisions or restoring multiply incentives for battery electric vehicles, plug-in hybrid electric vehicles and fuel cell vehicles. Proposed standards also include changes to the provisions for small volume manufacturers to transition them to primary program standards by MY 2032. For light duty vehicles, the EPA proposes non-methane organic gases plus nitrogen oxide standards that would phase down to a fleet average level of 12 mg per mile in MY 2032, representing a 60% reduction from the existing standards. This means that vehicles will have to emit significantly fewer harmful pollutants from their tailpipes. For medium duty vehicles, the EPA proposes NMOG plus NOx standards that would require a fleet average level of 60 mg per mile in MY 2032, representing a 66% to 76% reduction from the Tier 3 standards. The EPA is also proposing cold temperature minus 7 degrees Celsius NMOG plus NOx standards for light and medium duty vehicles and a particulate matter standard of 0.5 milligrams per mile across three test cycles. The standards would reduce tailpipe PM emissions from ICE vehicles by more than 95% and emissions of mobile source air toxics. Finally, the EPA is proposing changes to the carbon monoxide and formaldehyde standards for light and medium duty vehicles. Averaging, banking and trading provisions may be employed within the new program and credits may be transferred from the Tier 3 program to provide manufacturers with flexibility in developing compliance strategies. The growth potential for EVs is enormous, but it will take time for the market to fully shift away from gas cars. The gap of 1.7 to 2.5 million cars that need to be electric in order to meet the EPA's guidelines is significant and many automakers are currently not planning to make that leap. Daimler, Jaguar and Volvo are among the few companies that have planned to exceed the EPA's rumoured goals. BMW and other brands have commitments in the same ballpark, but overall, automakers' current 2030 commitments account for only about 44% EV sales, which means that overall EV commitments would need to increase by about a third to meet the Biden administration's goal. However, the growth potential for EVs is not limited to the United States. Countries around the world are also making efforts to reduce their carbon footprints and promote the use of electric vehicles. China, for example, is the world's largest EV market and has set a goal for new energy vehicles to account for 20% of total car sales by 2025. The shift towards electric vehicles is not just a response to environmental concerns, but also reflects changes in the consumer's preferences. Many drivers are attracted to the instant torque and smooth, quiet ride that electric cars offer. As more consumers make the switch to EVs, there will likely be a ripple effect throughout the industry and with more investment in charging infrastructure and other technologies to support EVs. The new EPA regulations for automakers could spell trouble for gas cars. The rules propose the new GHG emission standards for light and medium duty vehicles that will become more stringent each year until MY 2032. This means that gas cars will have a harder time meeting these standards and may be phased out in favour of BEVs. The impact of these rules will be felt most by traditional American car companies like Ford and GM, who have been slow to adopt electric vehicle technology. These companies will need to invest heavily in research and development to make their gas cars more efficient, or else risk losing market share to competitors who are producing more eco-friendly cars. At the same time, this brings exciting news for Tesla the trailblazer of the EV industry. With the new regulations in place, traditional car companies will find it even more challenging to keep up with Tesla's electric revolution. Tesla has already established itself as the undisputed leader in the EV market, with its Model S and Model 3 becoming bestsellers across many regions. The highly anticipated Model Y is expected to continue this trend and take the EV industry by storm. The numbers speak for themselves. Tesla's 2022 full-year deliveries reached a jaw-dropping 1.31 million vehicles. These new EPA regulations are a double-edged sword for the automotive industry. But one thing is for sure, electric vehicles are on the rise. Are you ready to make the switch? Subscribe for more updates on the latest trends in the automotive industry. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.